efficiency tips for editing in Microsoft Word. Hello and welcome to the program. That's what we're covering today on this short video, this short live session together as uh, Chet Davis, your technology tutor, brings you tech for experts and authors. Delighted to be with you each and every weekday morning, 6.45 a.m. Pacific, 9.45 Eastern. Uh, yesterday we focused on kind of some setup tips using Microsoft Word and today I want to take us to the next level and that's let's say you're editing a document and um, there's some efficiency tips, some kind of time-saving tips I want to share with you and make sure you're aware of. So let me go ahead and fire up the monitor here, my second display that has a document already open in Microsoft Word. And um, I am using Microsoft Word for Mac. I am on my MacBook Pro. Um, the same functionalities you will find in Microsoft Word if you're operating on a Windows computer as well. First thing is, um, is selecting something you want to edit, right? So you may already be aware, if you just double click on a word, it's going to highlight the word. See how it highlight the word protocol. If I come down here to developing, double click, it's going to highlight that word. Now, if you're on a Windows computer, if you control and single click, control and single click, it will select a complete sentence. Okay. Now, for those of us on a Mac, it's command click, command and single click, and you can see it highlights a complete sentence. This is a time saver because it avoids you from having to click and drag. As you may know, you can you can click somewhere, place in the cursor in front of a sentence, and then drag over. But if it's your intention just to select that whole sentence, just a single click, command on a Mac, single click with control on a Windows computer, and it selects the entire complete sentence, even with commas, etc. Now, if you want to select a whole paragraph, go up to the paragraph and triple click. One, two, three. Okay, Come down to a paragraph. One, two, three. And it will select the entire paragraph, just allowing for a quick and easy editing of your documents. Now, um, if you wanted to find and replace, if you want to find a particular word and replace it. For example, I was working with somebody recently and they said, you know, someone was reading my final proposal of this grant and they told me that I had um, um, mistyped the, the tense. You know, there was an apostrophe S when it should have just been an S. Well, I've kind of planted some mistakes in here, so I'm going to come up here to the find and replace. Now, you'll find this under the edit menu. So go to edit. If you just want to find it, come down and select find. But you'll notice there are a number of different options under the find menu. Because I want to find something and then replace it, we're going to select find and then replace. So by, by, you know, by default, it's not only just find, but find and replace. And you can see it opens it up in the left column here. So it says, what are you going to find? Well, let me find misspellings or maybe a mistense of my name. So you can see it highlights all occurrences of exactly what you're looking for. Now the cool thing is for me, it's not just a single word or a single misspelled word that you might catch under spelling, but you can see that I've intentionally um, put my last name all in uppercase. So I've got uppercase and lowercase. Now, I only want to replace the uppercase one, but let me just show you how we're going to replace one. So what we can do is we can come down and you can go to the next occurrence. See that? So I can highlight just that occurrence and it, and it highlights it in yellow. And if I want to replace just that, I can put what I want to put there. So I want capital C-H-E-T, capital D-A-V-I-S instead of all caps on the second name, and then just clicking the replace button you see up here, it replaced it, and then it goes on to the next word. How cool is that? So again, it you can do one at a time, or if I clicked Replace All, which is over here on the left side in the column and the Find Replace tab, it will replace all of them. But I'm going to leave one of them because I want to show you yet another function. Again, that's the Find Replace function. You'll find that under the top Edit menu up here. Again, Edit, Find, and then replace. Okay, and you can see there are keyboard shortcuts as well. All right, so that's that's how you would modify just that. But let me go ahead. We're going to close that menu by clicking the circle with the X in it. And I just want to, let's just highlight the entire 
two words here, Chet Davis. And what I want to do is I want to modify the uppercase, lowercase functionality here. And so that is easily found by going up to the little icon that has a lowercase a and a capital A right here. And you see what we call sentence case. So that's the uh, that's the, the geek terminology, the proper terminology, sentence case. In other words, upper case or lower case. Now, we can do all lower case. And you can see now it's all lower case. Or we can come back here and say all upper case. We can do title case, which is going to give me a capital letter at the beginning of each word, uh, call it, you know, personal pronoun case as well, which is exactly what I want. But this allows you to just modify a particular, you could do a whole sentence that way. Okay. So let's put together a couple of, of things we learned this morning. Let's go ahead and tap a complete sentence with command click or control click. Okay. We've got a whole paragraph here. There we go. There's one complete sentence. So we can come up to sentence case and make it all uppercase. So you can see this is a way to emphasize something. You want to be very careful, of course, using that in terms of proper styling and grammar, etc., especially if you're writing a book. But if you're doing a, um, uh, a freemium, maybe you're doing a free ebook or something like that, you want to emphasize a particular sentence. Very, very helpful. Very useful. I want to show you one more thing this morning, and that's how you get in what we call the, the thumbnails. Now, if you've got a long document, I've got, you know, moderately long here, 15-page uh, uh, free report. It's a, a document on preserving your digital memories. And what I want to do is I want to be able to see um, page by page kind of section. I'm very used to doing this in PDF documents. So we're going to come up here to View. And we're going to come down here to the sidebar. Sidebar on the left side, which is where we found the um, Find Replace menu a moment ago. It automatically popped up there. And we want to open the sidebar with the thumbnail pane. Again, what we've done is we've come to the View menu, come down to Sidebar, and we're going to select Thumbnail View, Thumbnail Pane. And you can see you have the thumbnails over here. Many people find this is a quick and easy way to get to different parts of your document, to different pages of your document, especially if you know. This is a great um, tool to use in terms of when you're doing your, your quality control and you're kind of going through things. And it's particularly useful if you have graphics, if you have images, if you have charts. It's very easy to scroll through and find those as well. Okay, so I hope that was uh, useful. Some tips for um, editing on Microsoft Word. Again, my name is Chet Davis, your technology tutor. Delighted to be with you each uh, weekday uh, morning. Go ahead, if you haven't already, and like that page. That page being this page. Also, in the comments below, let me know if you found something particularly useful. And if there's something else you'd like to learn, maybe about Microsoft Word, maybe it's about Max Pages uh, word processing document, maybe it's about some other technology altogether. I'd be delighted to, to hear from you and take into consideration topics for future episodes of Tech for Experts and Authors. Chet Davis saying goodbye for now. Go out there and make it a great rest of the day. Bye bye. Thank you.